Hello everyone, this is your girl, Natural Vibes. Natural Vibes, we will look for ways to raise your vibrations naturally. Okay, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about something that is very dear to me. Um, this is something that a lot of people do not talk about. 70% um, of Americans have this. Some people have symptoms of it, some people do not. So this, you can be asymptomatic and it is something that is potentially fatal. So you want to be able to um, identify this thing. And for some reason in the medical field, it does not get the proper recognition, okay? So quite a while ago, I have been um, trying to figure out what was going on in my body. And this is why I'm making you this video because I went through so much and I want to save someone, you know, the headache or the, all the, um, the worry and the anxiety that it caused me. I had, um, I was trying to figure out what was going on with me. I was just like constantly tired and just fatigued and I wanted to figure it out and I had like really low um, iron and I went to the doctors a few times and nothing came about it no no one told me anything of what was going on with me and but i personally knew something was going on so what i did was i ended up going to a herbalist who then was able to tell me that i had something called candida okay candida so can, there are a lot of symptoms to this thing. Um, first of all, candida is a fungal infection. It's something that is found in your body naturally, but it can get, um, it can, it can become overgrown. So it, it um, so when you, you are imbalanced and your natural ecology and your body is, your ecosystem that you have in there is imbalanced, you can get an overgrowth of this bacteria that is in your body. Um, what this bacteria feeds on a lot of is your dead cells, but also sugar. So one of the things I've noticed um, was I started craving things, sugary things that I never used to crave before. So this thing just eats the sugar in it, and it multiplies asexually. So it just keeps multiplying, multiplying. It's, it is, it's a pesk, okay? And you start feeling these symptoms of like tiredness, lethargia, just lethargic, sorry, just not being able to feel like you, you get sleep and you just still not well rested, just um, low iron. Um, you, if you have constant yeast infections, I mean, you can have constant yeast infections, but there's some times where, you know, some people do not experience that. Um, you, you may have candida, uh, candida overgrowth. You can, you may also experience like, um, nail fungus. Like if you have like, um, even your like toes or your fingernails, you all of a sudden have like fungal issues. Um, bad breath is also another symptom. There is a lot of symptoms to this thing and it's something that if you all of a sudden you have a low sex drive, insomnia, um, frequent mood swings. So there's a lot of different um, symptoms that you wouldn't have expected. Um, some people don't experience any symptoms at all. So this isn't something where you can predict and say, well, oh, I have this. Um, it's something that you have to one of the things you just have to pay attention to your body, okay? Pay attention to your body because when you develop this overgrowth, it can start attacking your immune system. You have it lowers your immune system, and all of a sudden you're susceptible to other um, illnesses, um, potentially fatal diseases. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but this is what can potentially happen. And I don't know why it's not. It's not as um, talked about in the medical profession as I believe it should be so I'm just letting others know about this making you more aware of it because um, there are some th there are things you can do to um, 
you know, to eliminate this issue and to prevent it from becoming fatal because you can, you can die from this. Um, so it, it's something that I'm trying to educate everyone on, something, you know, that you can more understand. Um, it's something that you can prevent, eliminate. Um, so, and another thing is you can pass it on to, if, if someone is pregnant, you can pass it on to an unborn child. This um, bacterial infection, it can cause things such as autism. Um, that's also not spoken about at all. So it's something that you wanna make sure you have under control and you're able to treat it before it becomes an even bigger problem. Um, I started talking about this because um, I realized that it can cause other things down the line that people just need to know about, you know? And so I'm not gonna dwell on the candida, okay? There are ways you can detect that you have this overgrowth in your body. Um, so if you have symptoms that you want to explore with either an herbalist or your medical doctor, you know, seek their their um, their help. So what? So my next step when I realized that I had this, I I personally went to an herbalist, so she was able to tell me exactly how what I should be doing to treat it. Um, I, but there are these little kits. Um, this is one of them, um, Candy Smart, and there's this one too that I've tried. Um, this one's the Candida. Um, this is more of like a, just a liquid. This one's more of just like a liquid and it has all these things that'll help you um, instead of having to buy all these different herbs. It's a, it's a really good one that if you want to try. Um, one thing, if you have the Candida, you have this overgrowth, you do not want to kill them off too quickly. You don't want to kill off candida too quickly and I think this one when I did this one it was really really harsh um, this one was a two-step one um, two parts it was a capsule and a little sphincter um, you don't want to kill them off too fast if you have a bacterial overgrowth in your body what will happen was you're gonna feel like garbage because when they die off they release a lot of toxins in your body and it will make you feel really ill it can actually <laughs> it's really not good to to have all these um, candy die in your body and, and releasing these toxins because your body can become very toxic at that point so it's something you, you want to be very very careful of and believe me it's it's not very pleasant so you, anything that you try to do if you do um, have a candida um, overgrowth you want to make sure you start off very slowly and work your way up depending on how much um, how much candida is actually in your body if there is a, a lot and you um, just give it you know you give them too many too much uh, medicine there's also the wormwood complex um, you want to start off very slowly um, because yeah you don't want to create those toxins you want to make sure you're on a good um, probiotic um, you take a probiotic and also make sure you get enough greens I do this um, green vibrance it is it says like almost everything in it so wheat grass barley oat grass um, sunflower lectin spirulina which is awesome alfalfa just everything just greens and it has a pro it has probiotics in there as well um so i do that one and it works wonders so what is the best treatment for candida um the best treatment is not a drug at all it's just um switching up your diet um basically you just have to boost your immune system um, just make sure you're eating a lot of, um, you're eliminating a lot of um, sugary foods, foods full of um, refined sugars, um, alcohol, and carbohydrates, because those are things that the candida um, enjoys and thrives off of. 
Um, you want to make sure you're eating a lot of leafy greens, all the kale, um, the collards, um, the spirulina. You want to make sure you're eating a lot of those. Um, pumpkin seeds are also great. Um, make sure you are in taking a probiotic and just foods that are rich in probiotic um, qualities. Um, I do take the green um, vibrance I mentioned before. Um, it has a lot of probiotics in there. That's great for that. Um, make sure that you um, just make sure that you eliminate a lot of um, those carbs and that you take a lot of the essential oils. Coconut oil is great for that. Um, it's great for eliminating candida. So this is, candida is an epidemic. It There's a lot of um, different, ca it causes different diseases that can arise because it what it does is it reduces, it um, lowers your immune um, system defense. Um, so this is something that you want to eliminate from your body. Um, so that's all I'm going to share with you today. I hope that you found this helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please thumbs it up. Um, if you want to hear more videos such as this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.